All right, y'all demanded an answer, so here it is, Spinosaurus versus T-Rex, but I'm gonna make you listen to a bunch of caveats first, and the first one is, these are some of the most controversial animals in the fossil record. Most everything I'm gonna say about them, one person or another is gonna disagree with me, but generally speaking, Spinosaurus and T-Rex did not live at the same time or at the same place. There's about 30 million years separating these animals. Spinosaurus is from North Africa, South America, maybe some relatives in Europe. Uh, T-Rex is exclusively a North American animal. They live in different environments, right? Uh, Spinosaurus, we think, was probably a semi-aquatic animal that spent a lot of time in the water. T-Rex is fully terrestrial. It maybe could swim, but probably not nearly as well as something like Spinosaurus. And then there's a, a problem, too, of niche partitioning, right? These animals hunt different things in their environments, right? T-Rex was probably, possibly, filled every different predator niche in its environment throughout its growth stages. It may have been a fast sprint predator, it may have been a slow ambush hunter, it may have been a long stalker. As it got to its fully adult size, it may have even been what we call a kleptoparasitic individual, right? It might have actually forced other animals off of their kills. Whereas Spinosaurus, we think, was probably primarily a piscivore. It's eating fish. So they don't hunt the same things, they've got sort of different uh, uh, resources in the environment that they're going after, so there isn't really a good reason for them to be competing to begin with. But if you manage to stick both of these animals into, say, a DeLorean, right, and drop them off into the Roman Colosseum, there's still a problem with most carnivores aren't going to really necessarily attack each other and fight to the death. These are animals that have to deal with a huge amount of risk in their regular uh, endeavors, right? Even uh, prey species like for T-Rex, something like a Triceratops or an Edmontosaurus, is still an incredibly dangerous animal. They are going to fight for their lives. If you took two of these animals, their instincts wouldn't be to fight each other to the death. They might compete if they were forced to, but one of them, sensing the possibility of, of defeat, would probably take off because injury could mean starvation and death. So they're generally not going to want to try and kill each other. But then if you take, force them together and just don't give them any other option essentially but to fight to the death, Again, if it's on land, I'm going to probably have to give it to the T-Rex. It's, it's real supreme adaptation is more or less being able to bite through everything. It's got those massive head, the huge jaws so that it can bite through bones. It's got really sort of conical, fat teeth, not blade-shaped, thin things that are likely to shear or break because it needs to be able to basically crunch right through bone. Uh, versus Spinosaurus, we think, again, primarily eating fish. It's got a very long, narrow snout. It probably doesn't have anywhere near the bite force of something like T-Rex.